The purpose of the flush is simply to speed up the process of thinning the bile so that it can flow correctly. And if it works, then bile is just going to flow correctly and the human body will function more along the lines that it's supposed to function. Some people hear the word flush and they think they're going to be running for the toilet right after they do it, but that's not the case for most people. This isn't something you would do on a daily basis, but if somebody felt like they needed to do a beet flow flush every three to five days or so, that could be reasonable. Once a week is usually good for about three to five weeks to improve most stubborn bile flow issues. Now, if you run the self-test that we teach you how to do in our free four-week digestion course, Course. We'll put the link in the, in the description if you haven't taken that course. It's a totally free course. But if you run those self-tests and your saliva pH is 6.5 or lower, that can be an indication that you may benefit from a beet flow flush. And if the day after that flush, if your saliva pH goes up, then that can be a sign that things worked well and that you created some improvement with that flush. Now, if your saliva pH is already in a good range, it's probably not going to go up, but you still may see other changes from doing the flush. We like to see people simply use beet flow with their meals for a few days before trying to do a beet flow flush. Maybe a person will start with one beet flow per meal on the first day, go to two beet flow per meal on the second day, and three beet flow per meal on the third day. Doing a flush on the fourth day is reasonable and the person could still use beet flow with those meals on the day that they do the flush. The directions for completing a beet flow flush are quite simple. Simply take four beet flow every 30 minutes for two hours. So that's four rounds. You can complete this process at any time of the day, but the results seem to be the best when starting about an hour after a meal. If you get hungry during the flush, it's okay to eat something. And be sure to set a timer every 30 minutes or it's going to be pretty easy to forget. Like I said, most people don't experience anything when doing the flush, but if a low saliva pH comes up or other bile flow symptoms seem to improve, you know things are working. Since bile movement also detoxifies the liver, it's also common for someone to feel a little lighter after doing a beet flow flush. If you get nauseous or experience any type of uh, skin rash or, or breakout or anything like that, too many toxins may be coming out too quickly. Bile may have been backed up for a very long time and as it thins and moves out, you could have too many toxins coming into the system and the body is just trying to push some of them out through the skin or maybe even rush them out the back door too quickly and create a loose stool issue. Again, these cases are very rare, but if this happens to you, it could be a good idea to slow things down and maybe just use a lower dose of beet flow with your meals for a few weeks so that you're improving bile flow at a slower pace and toxins will be removed from the body at a steady, nice pace that the body can deal with. For extremely stubborn cases, what seems to be the best move is to do a beet flow flush on one day and then a Xenoplex coffee suppository on the following day. And then do this combo about once a week until you see bile flow improve.